hello there, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. I've got a funny article. I, I, I picked a catchy title for an article. Maybe you saw it on Bowlversity on our site. It's at BowlingBall.com. It's called Useless Bowling Practice Tips. Wow, I thought I'd trap all of you into listening to the video or reading the article by a catchy title. You know, what it is is that um, most of us... Uh, will practice from time to time or work on the things to improve our game. But some of us, uh, some of you perhaps, may not want to do it. You might have learned over the years that you got to work on your physical game fundamentals to bowl well, or you might have heard tips, you know, understanding and practicing uh, with your various bowling ball equipment so you're familiar with the equipment uh, and, you, and to keep your equipment in good shape. Uh, you've heard about tips or read about them uh, for playing the lanes, making adjustments, aligning up to certain conditions in tournaments or leagues. And finally, you've heard about developing a structured practice session or a routine to practice so you can rehearse all the important ingredients of your game. But you might not be one that likes to practice and you don't want to put the effort in. Maybe you're happy with the way you bowl and you just don't want to spend any more effort or interest into doing it. We understand and that's certainly okay. Uh, even the greatest tips in the world, the best tips virtually are useless to you if you don't want to use them. If you don't want to implement any of them, listen to them, you just want to do the things that you do. And it's okay, but you should be aware that it's difficult to see progress or you shouldn't really expect a lot of progress consistently uh, because you're not rehearsing the things that maybe got you as good as you are today and can help get you to a better position in uh, uh, to become a more effective bowler. But it's all personal preference, isn't it? Any tips are useless if you don't intend to train yourself with the intent of making improvement on your game. Many coaches will give you a checklist if you work with a coach and you spend money. They're going to ask you to work. They want you to practice. They want you to have a checklist of things to work on. Uh, they want you to familiarize yourself with the technology of bowling balls, textures, how to drill the balls up. They want you to learn about lane conditions. They want you to practice adjustments. They want to prepare you mentally for competition with mental game strategies. Well, that's work, isn't it? You don't want any part of that. Well, if you don't, it's okay. Uh, but if you want to just uh, get a couple quick tips on what you can do if you do decide to sneak in just a little bit of practice, if you had to really get down to a couple of no-brainer tips, I've, I've got one for you. If you don't do anything else and you decide to go bowl a couple of games on your own where the score doesn't matter and nobody's around watching you, take your bowling towel, place it directly on the foul line so at least half the towel extends beyond the foul line. Um, make sure it doesn't interfere with where you slide. It should be directly under where the ball comes off your hand. And the object here is to make sure you clear the towel. The towel should be at least six inches beyond the foul line to make sure the ball doesn't fall off your hand, hit the towel, bounce, and move the towel down the lane. Uh, and the pur purpose of that is to get the ball out on the lane consistently, over the foul line consistently. And so you want to deliver about 20 consecutive shots, because I, I use two games as a, as a rule of thumb on this. Uh, deliver 20 consecutive deliveries, clearing the towel, with emphasis on not rotating the fingers of your bowling hand more than one inch of rotation on your delivery. You want to keep your release very consistent and your hand very quiet as you release the ball. And what you'll do is if you're able to do that 20 times in a row, you're going to regulate your ball speed and your loft control. And by doing that, you'll see a consistent ball reaction. If you've got a little feel for how to play the lanes, you're going to, you're going to bowl pretty well. And then you want to deliver uh, 20 shots within two seconds of the same elapsed time. Um, 0.2 seconds, that is. In other words, we want to give you a, a 0.2 seconds uh, variation in time for to get the same ball speed over and over and over, okay? And you can use the automatic uh, readouts, uh, speed readouts that your automatic scores provide if you can find a bowling center that has that. Even if it's not real accurate, the idea that it's relative from delivery to delivery. So as close as you can get to delivering the ball at the same speed, get the same loft, and not over-rotate your hand, keep your hand very quiet, don't turn it early, get the ball over the towel. If you can do that, then you're going to have a pretty good consistent delivery, keep your eye on your target, and go bowl and have some fun. Because after all, what's this game all about? It's about having fun. I hope this helps, uh, and I hope you've read the article. Anyway, I want to thank you today and wish you all the best in the future.